Welcome to our Firebase troubleshooting session. Today, we're tackling a frustrating issue that many developers encounter when integrating authentication in their apps. Our viewer is facing a challenge with the Firebase JS API, specifically the error message, auth account exists with different credential. Let's break down the situation and see how we can help. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully find that resolution you're looking for. Now, let's continue on to the video. Let's address the error you're encountering with Firebase authentication. The error message auth auth slash account exists with different credential indicates that the email used for the Facebook account is already associated with a different provider, in this case, Google. To resolve this, we need to fetch the providers associated with the email before attempting to sign in again. This will help us determine which provider is currently linked to the email. Once we have the list of providers, we can inform the user about the existing account and guide them to sign in with the correct provider. If they want to link their accounts, we can proceed with linking the credentials. If the user chooses to link their accounts, we can use the pending credentials to link the Facebook account to the existing Google account. This is done using the link method. Finally, ensure that you handle any errors that may arise during this process. This will help you debug and provide feedback to the user if something goes wrong. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. Firebase support explains that each email has its own identity provider, or IDP. For example, a Gmail address uses Google as its IDP. This means if you sign in with Google, Firebase updates your account to reflect that IDP. If you first sign in with an email and password, then later with Google, Firebase will allow this and update your IDP to Google. This is because Google likely has the most current information. However, if you sign in with Google first and then try to sign in with email and password, Firebase will notify you that an account already exists with that email. It won't change the IDP in this case. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To handle the error, account exists with different credential in Firebase, you can sign in silently using the original credential. This avoids needing to sign in again. Here's a brief look at the code. First, save the credential, then attempt to sign in. If you encounter the error, fetch the sign-in methods for the email. If the error occurs, retrieve the old credential and sign in with it. Finally, link the new credential to the current user.
Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. Firebase documentation can be inconsistent. While it provides detailed instructions for sign-in with pop-up, it lacks clarity for sign-in with redirect. In redirect mode, you need to cache the pending credential using session storage. To link a Facebook account with a Google account using sign in with redirect, first handle the authentication error. If the error indicates an account exists with a different credential, store the credential in session storage. Next, fetch the sign in methods for the email and determine the provider. Then, redirect the user to sign in with the appropriate provider. After redirecting, retrieve the result and check for a saved credential. If found, link the accounts using the saved credential and remove it from session storage. Here's a code snippet demonstrating the process, including error handling and account linking. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. In 2022, if you encounter the account exists with different credential error in Firebase, you can resolve it by going to the Firebase console, navigate to Authentication, and then User Account Link. From there, choose the option to create multiple accounts for each identity provider. This will help you avoid the error that occurs when linking accounts with the same email. And that's it guys. I hope this video helped find that resolution you're looking for. If it did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.